Lesson 13.3, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines. This is a fairly short lesson. A lot of people have seen it before. So I just keep it simple. Parallel lines have uh, equal slopes. And if we have a coordinate plane, and we have some lines, Let's say this is y equals, call it 4 thirds x just for the fun of it, minus 3. And this would be y equals 4 thirds x plus 3. So same slope, they're parallel. Close, they're not parallel. It's got to be exactly the same. Now, exceptions to this rule would be uh, if m is undefined, because you can't say that two things are undefined or equal, but wouldn't worry about that. Those are vertical lines, so it's really not that big a deal. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocals. So once again, if we have a coordinate plane, and I've got a line here, looks like a slope of one third x, and it went through the origin, and I have another one right here, and I know they're perpendicular, well then I know this one's going to be, flip it, 3 over 1, put a negative out front, or multiply by negative 1. So if it was a negative, make it a positive. And uh, this is probably like plus 100 or something like that. Who cares? So that's how we do perpendicular lines. Again, with exceptions, when m is undefined, perpendicular would be 0. Those really aren't opposite reciprocals, but I guess they are in one way. I don't like doing that. I like saying that they... Slopes multiply to negative 1. So, for example, 1 third times negative 3 equals negative 1. I prefer to do it that way. That's just me, though. Opposite reciprocal doesn't really resonate with me. So, an example, you can pause the recording and try it on your own. So now I'm going to do it. We got these points. Do I need to graph them? No, I do not. But strongly recommend you do. Because that will help you avoid making mistakes. This is 5, negative 1. This is negative 3, 3, so I better get a negative slope when I connect these. So, x1, y1, x2, y2, 3 minus negative 1 over negative 3 minus 5 is 4 over negative 8 is negative one half. So a parallel slope would be the same. And a perpendicular slope would be the opposite reciprocal. That's it. Get fast at doing slopes and uh, fast at flipping them to make the reciprocals, opposite reciprocals. Good luck.